extraordinary meeting on Tuesday night, and uh, there were two motions on the paper, uh, and I submitted a further third motion for urgency, and I asked the Mayor to support my urgency motion, which he refused to do on many occasions. Uh, so I've resubmitted that urgency motion for a new extraordinary meeting to be held next Tuesday. Uh, so I have copies for each of you here. Uh, there are a number of things I'd like to do. Firstly, I want to correct some of the misinformation because I was very keen to support the motion from Mayor Laxar, and I did support every aspect to his motion on uh, Tuesday night, which called for a uh, certainly a PR campaign, certainly a support for Eastwood um, initiative, and I did think, however, we could add more to that and do more. Um, I don't think the Mayor has a monopoly on all intelligence, and I think that 12 councillors ought to all be coming together with a common purpose to support everyone in Eastwood. Uh, it's not a one-party solution to support Eastwood. Independent Greens, Liberal Labor, it doesn't matter where you come from. You know, this is an international uh, medical crisis. You don't fix it with politics. You fix it with everyone coming together and being together with one simple cause to bring people back to Eastwood. So uh, I cannot tell you how disappointed I am in the solution that the Mayor proposed, but I did support his initiative. But equally, I also supported, um, or would have supported, the initiative from Councillor Kim. And also, I had my own um, initiative as well, where I wanted to add a lot of value, I thought, to, to how we bring people back to Eastwood. Uh, I had a very successful initiative with uh, uh, my friend here, Dr Anthony Ching, who's uh, from ABC Dental up the road. We handed out many hundreds of uh, surgical masks. They were very popular. We had about 50 people or more at one stage lining up for them. Um, that shows that you, if people are motivated by fear or by information, they want to protect themselves. And I thought um, people staying at home are, in a, in a way, being responsible. They're heeding the message of authorities to self-isolate for 14 days. Now, some are, some are going beyond that and they're just not coming out, and that's the wrong thing. We want those people to come out and shop. Uh, but giving away those masks is something that uh, I initiated as an individual with uh, Dr Chin. But I think government can step in and secure supply and give away free masks. Uh, we don't need to be paying eight dollars for one mask. It only lasts four hours. It's not worth eight dollars. It should be for free. People come out. They want to travel on public transport. They want to be in the home. It doesn't matter where you are. You should be wearing a mask if you're outside your own home, uh, according to the advice from authorities. Uh, there are other aspects as well to my motion that I'll submit uh, for debate on Tuesday night. I'm very keen to see the Small Business Commissioner of New South Wales come here and support uh, small businesses. Uh, they have a team of multilingual business specialists who speak. Uh, various languages, certainly all the languages of Eastwood they speak, and I'm very keen to see that they uh, implement their skills and work with, uh, work with shop owners. Our social media channels, oddly enough, at Council haven't been used at all, and yet social media is the thing that has created the fear uh, around don't come to Eastwood, and yet Council has been silent on the matter, so I wanted to debate that on Tuesday night and the Mayor wouldn't let me, which I was certainly disappointed in. So again, in Part C of my motion that I'll distribute to you, we must have a strong social media campaign to counter the misinformation on social media. Um, and thirdly, uh, fourthly, our, our own staff need to be here in Eastwood. Uh, we have an economic development team and our staff need to be walking up and down, um, speaking the languages of Eastwood, working with businesses, letting them know in so many ways that all politicians, all staff, everyone needs to come back to Eastwood because Eastwood is safe. And uh, if we can give encouragement through PR, give practical on the ground support standing inside your shop like we are now. Um, that's very, very helpful and it's powerful to residents that are reading papers, reading online messages and understanding that there's nothing to fear in Eastwood. It's the same beautiful, dynamic, diverse place it was one month ago and two and three months ago. Uh, only we are without our Lunar New, New Year Festival, which is sadly one of the consequences of uh, of this virus and the misinformation spreading. So, uh, and finally, I asked last Tuesday night for our general manager to confirm the one remaining person who is in uh, in healthcare who is suspected of having the virus. And again, you know, we didn't get to de debate that, so I have no power as a councillor to direct the GM. So, hence we could have had that out on Monday at lunchtime. I don't know why we cannot identify the source of where that one remaining person in New South Wales is from, uh, because if they're not from Eastwood then all of this has been for nothing and it's been nothing but a scare campaign that has sadly devastated your businesses for, for two or three weeks. So if we can confirm that information, then the floodgates of Eastwood are open again in my view and it's back to business and it's back to normal for Eastwood. 
and I can only say I'll distribute my motion to you for a meeting that I would seek on Tuesday night, but um, I, I don't have the entire solution. I have one part of the solution, as does Councillor Kim and Councillor Laxar, and I'm again disappointed that uh, I thought I played my part in a bipartisan approach on Tuesday night, and sadly the Mayor and his team couldn't quite bring themselves to... Uh, to thinking outside the square and thinking there are many, many solutions and many ways to support people. And uh, and that support extends well beyond him and his Labor Party colleagues. So I'll distribute this now or you're welcome to ask questions about that. 